Hi folks, my name is Fred Grant. I am owner of WHOU 100.1 FM in Holton, Maine. My company also owns Market Pizza, which is across the street here in beautiful downtown Holton, historic Holton, Maine. And we are now the owners of this space, the Holton's Temple Theater, which is on the first floor of the Masonic Building here in Holton. There's three floors to this facility, third floor being the Masonic Temple, which is still in use, Masonic Lodge, I'm sorry. And here we are in what we believe to be the oldest continually operating theater, movie theater in the state of Maine. Now, we could be wrong. There could be an older one. But if we're not the oldest, we're darn close. As we've been working through trying to make some modifications to the building and looking at historical documents, we had posted the corner stone for this building on our Facebook page for Temple Theater that had the Masonic lot and the Masonic Temple symbol on it. And to our surprise, we received uh, hundreds of posts and comments on that posting which is unusual for a, a privately, a small, privately owned temp, uh, movie theater. And the posts were from all over the world of people that were making comments about Masonic, the Freemasons, Knights Templar, and different things. And it got us wondering about the history uh, of this building from a Masonic standpoint. And in starting to do some re research into the Masons, we realized that there are buildings all over the world here in the United States that uh, have significance to not only our history, but also to Masonry and the Masons. And what we found was that a lot of buildings have, when they place a cornerstone, have an astrological significance as to which, which day that the cornerstone was placed. And even the time is, is important. So we thought, hey, maybe this interest about Holton's Temple Theater and the Masonic building is part of that history. So in doing research on Masons, we did some research into astrological significance for the date that the, the cornerstone was laid, which was August 14, 1918 and didn't really find anything. It just, there was nothing of significance that we could see. We looked at the old papers from back in 1918 and there wasn't, other than the mentioning of the dedication of the building, there wasn't anything specific in there. But we have something significant happening here in Holton that as we got thinking about it, on in this coming year in 2024 on April 8th, there will be a total solar eclipse that will be passing through Holton, Maine. Actually, Holton is going to be the last town in totality in the United States for this eclipse, what we call the Maine eclipse. And that is pretty significant for us that we've got an eclipse that's, that we're in the path of totality. And we're expecting a lot of people to show up in town. We're really excited about this event. And my understanding is there isn't going to be another eclipse for another 70 years, either in the United States or that we'll, we'll be able to. So this is it. For us, this is going to be our one shot at being able to see an eclipse unless we travel to some other part of the country, other part of the world. So I got thinking, what if there was not an astrological event, but there was a an eclipse back in 1918. Chances are rare, um, but I looked it up. And on August 14th, 1918, the same day that the cornerstone was laid for this building, there was a total solar eclipse. It wasn't here, but it was on the opposite side of the planet near Australia. I told the crew about it and we came to the realization pretty easily that it pretty awesome that the cornerstone of this building was placed on the same day that there was a total solar eclipse. And this building is going to experience its own total solar eclipse 105 years later. And that's pretty remarkable. It seems like a coincidence, 
But if it is a coincidence, it's got to be an astro it's astronomically rare coincidence. So I thought, well, it didn't happen here. It was on the other side of the planet. Where on the opposite side of the planet did it happen? I punched in to Google the antelope, I guess it's called, or the anta antelope, the opposite, the exact opposite location of your town on the other side of the planet. And to my surprise, that location of Holton's location on the opposite side of the planet, if you were to drill a hole straight through the center of the earth, comes out in just southwest of Australia, the same location where the 1918 eclipse took place. So we're baffled. And we're hoping that somebody watching this may have the information to say, yeah, total, total coincidence, which is perfectly fine. Uh, it's a heck of a great one and a great story. But there may be somebody that says, uh-uh, knowing the Masons, this was not a chance happening. So we'd like more information if you can help us piece it together. It would be a great addition to the history and the story of this fantastic space that we have here. Now, I do need to tell you a little bit about the eclipse coming in 2024, which is happening on April 8th. Uh, it just so happens that not only are we the last spot uh, to experience this in the United States, but totality begins for us at 332 on April 8th. And those that know anything about masonry know that there are 33 degrees of masonry and that the number 33 has significance even beyond that. Uh, the number two has significance as well. So. There's that. So if you think that this is a really neat story, we'd love to hear from you. If you have information that might be able to help us figure this mystery out and determine, is it just a fantastic coincidence or is there more to the story? Please let us know. You can check out our website for the Temple Theater, which is templeholton.com and reach out to us there, post on this video, comment on this video. You can also reach us at the radio station where they're most all the time. And we'll continue to post information about this story as we get more and it could be a lot of fun. And hey, hopefully if you're so inclined, we'd love to see you in April. If you happen to be this way, please look us up, stop by. Um, I'm, Really excited about this story as our entire crew is, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.